beard. We've got a look at it here. Oh, wow. Way up Wait. out of the groove there. Yeah. He just gets That's up it. next to the wall and probably as he comes off, he's got to yeah. overcorrect at some point in time and bounce off the outside. Here he comes. And then to come down, gosh. Wow. Still carrying a lot of speed. A lot of speed. It was a hard hit Yeah, that was a hard hit yeah. there. It's kind of strange because I saw him come by going slow here at the start finish line. And must have just got it up to speed. And wow. Yeah, you hear it there. That thing slapped hard with the, with the, out with of the, the right groove yeah. right there. And the car just simply will not turn. I don't care if you're out of the gas, you're trying to drive it through it. Yeah, nah, that's that's hard. That's going to yeah, be that is yeah, probably hard. a backup car. Yeah, there. that's hard. And, and because it, we, we go back to, like Dale said, you see the right front and then the right rear slap, and it's a pretty slap sided. Yeah. And they're, they're three wide for second now. Caution is out. Caution on lap three here at Texas, and it's the 54 Bola Mastis, and that is a big hit. Five or six trucks, so it looks like they have that problem fixed, but he finds himself one lap down. Ooh, trouble for trouble. Gillen. Yeah, absolutely. It's a motor Gillen. situation, looks like, guys. So two of our top contenders with problems already tonight in oh, Gillen. Wow. Yeah, he's been in the Caution is out. Wall, and wow, that was a big dive to pit road across traffic. How it handles with that. There's the contact, boy, hard contact from Gilliland. That truck did not turn. No, he just got, it looked like that possibly could be a right front tire failure, Phil. I know if you get up there on the outside of the groove, it's really slippery, and it could have just slipped into the outside wall, but if that tire was soft, that's exactly the able to put away. Gregson, as he goes through, and right in front of Johnny Sauter goes the nine of Cody Robal around. Robal does a nice job of just bumping the outside wall. He'll live to race another lap or two. His right front and right rear tire down. See the black truck right up in front of him. Just gets loose. Oh, and Sauter does a great job, as does Bailey Curry. And was that Jesse Little that slipping was, through after being on pit road? Three guys that just did a perfect job avoiding a crash. Here's Sauter's view. Did you see him wiggle his wheel? Got hit from behind. Curry hit him in the back, but he was able to slide through. Playoff contenders right now. All up in the top seven positions other than Johnny Sauter. And there's Robaw around again for the second time, and that brings out the caution once again. That means a sprint for this stage win, I would bet. He's out front. I don't see any way they oh, crash. sideways. And they and did. The four of Roper is around. Contact all over the place. Noah Gregson got sideswiped there, and I'm... I believe that's Johnny Sauter that was in the mix and with some contact as well. And there's the 04 of Corey Roper. That's the first truck that I saw, saw sideways over there in the middle of three and four. Heavy damage to Roper, and there's the 12 of Tyler Young. It's to be, he's going to be done for the night as well. And Johnny Sauter said he was part of the contact, and you can see inside no his truck. where he could end up at the end of the night. Oh, three wide, you can see. The eight truck of Nemechek around and into Roper, and then watch Sauter through the middle of it. Yeah, he and Noah Gregson made some pretty good contact. See the 12 of Tyler Young. You got you got the worst of it right here when Corey Roper gets sideways and is going to take him out. Thorson right there in the middle of Sauter and Gregson, and Thorson took a little bit of damage as well. Watch that red truck on the outside. Looks like when, when he drove in on the right rear quarter of the eight of Joe Nemechek, that got Joe sideways. You can see the contact there from Gregson as he slides by into the side of Sauter. Well, you could just tell from that onboard, Mike, of Sauter, that hit with Gregson was significant. These trucks are tough, though, Vince. I didn't see a lot of damage to the right side of Gregson, and the left was wrinkled up on Sauter, but still it looks like he's going to race on. Has no experience at this level. It just gets a little bit high, probably, Phil. Loose up the hill, and around he goes. Great driving by those other truckers to not make further contact with Creed. Well, they get up out of the groove. It seems like that wall just sucks him in. Mm -hmm. Sure does. He did a nice job not letting that truck hit the inside wall, but still significant damage to the rear. Sheldon Creed, we mentioned Flip the there is going to cost him stage points. And another caution has come out this time 
for debris and it's significant. And that's the two of Sheldon Creed. We saw the pit crew putting tape on the back of that truck earlier and it didn't work. There's the styrofoam the foam out yep. of the side of the truck. Yeah, another truck with the, oh, that's Creed. Things started here for the final stage. This is why we were under caution. Sheldon Creed this into the wall. while he waited to turn 18, but still expected that maybe he would be oh, able to oh, make up. Oh, he's there. got a problem. I think he's got a problem. Gillen is going to stop, and it's going to be the 24 of Haley for the second time in the playoffs. The leaders with a problem, just like in Canada. Justin Haley's going to benefit and win at Texas. Unbelievable. See the jet ski right here. He's in the flat. Yo, oh, hang big, on, hang on. Big save. He's, He's not still done. saving it. Nope. Hold your break here. Hold your break. Uh. Confused by the second spin. I thought he had it saved, but just showed you how difficult that corner is. Well, That's late. And that was really after he had begun to lose it already. That's that second save you were talking about. And that brings this session to a halt. Shane Lee with a good restart on that outside with the nine of Tyler Reddick pushing him. And sideways, oh. Bell already sideways in front of the field. Slides up the yeah, racetrack. Right He'll stay out of the wall. A little contact with some of the drivers behind him. As the caution has come out. you have to check up. Look again. I mean, that thing came around. It didn't. You know, a lot of times you see a car shake and wiggle a little bit. Then it spins out. That thing just jumped sideways. And you heard him say, when I interviewed him, he said, these cars make grip right until they don't. And what that means is you can't feel it. The car didn't get a little bit loose and then a little bit looser. It just snaps sideways and around you go, and that's what we saw right there. What was Elliot Sadler must be thinking right here? The worst of the playoff cars as far as qualifying goes. And look at him. He's about eight rows back in that blue car. The one goes around as everybody comes into the smoke. Elliot Sadler is trying to get slowed down, looking in his mirror, making sure he doesn't get run over from behind. Here's on board with the 20. So fortunate no one ran up here. At most racetracks, he's in the wall. Yes. This racetrack is so wide with the reconfiguration, they added 20 feet of width. And we're seeing a little bit of grass on the front stretch, so somebody got into the grass, brought that out onto the racetrack. You look here. See it just running through that grass and that front splitter tearing the... Turn the grass up. I like that artificial grass they did at Charlotte. Yeah, he actually spun. Tire down. That 26 means. points below that oh cutoff boy. line. And the oh 39 boy. up the track. Ryan C gets into the 11. And the caution will come out again. Yeah, I had time for two old boys before that one happened. We saw that one coming right off the roof of the 20 car. You just know when you drive into turn right one. Side, so that 39 has air pushing on the right side door. When the 11 gets there, the air is just not as good. That's right. And so, so that side force, that's a losing side force. And that side force just packs air on that right rear quarter panel. And it keeps that right rear quarter panel from going to the right. It keeps it from spinning out. Cars on the outside of it. No air going to it. Around he goes. And it's made worse this end because... The grip level in th one and two is so much less than it is in three and four. Yeah, with the reduced banking, you definitely lean on aerodynamics more, Rick. It's just like sticking your hand out the window, driving down the interstate. You can imagine at 70 miles an hour how much pressure there is on your hand. Well, imagine at over 200 miles an hour entering that corner how much air pressure there is on the right side of this 39. We're on board with the 20, and right here, he's in trouble, Jeff. Oh, yeah, and I want to tell you, Christopher Bell. He was like, please slide out of the way. But Christopher Bell being behind him, that wasn't helping anything either. Because that's pulling the air off the spoiler. Tough break for the 39 of Ryan C coming off. The inside of the nine as they go into turn one. And Cole Custer, the preferred line. The 35 gets tagged by Tyler Reddick. He slides sideways in front of the two. Up the racetrack he goes. And the caution will come out. I never touched this. Well, you hear Reddick say he never touched him, so maybe just taking the air off of the back of that 35. 
I don't think he did touch it. So you see right here, Reddick leading. The two lap cars get side by side. That pins Reddick to the bottom. He tries to go underneath Gates, doesn't feel like he leaves a room. That allows a double zero to get underneath the nine. And now they go in there side by side. And the nine, you can't tell from that angle if he hit him or if the 35 just spins out. You called it before it happened. You said this lap traffic was going to play a role. Let's see if there was contact. This would be a much better angle. We'll see. Look at the front bumper of the nine. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'd say contact. there was contact. That's a affirmative. So I, when I first saw it from that view from the rear, I didn't think he hit him, but he certainly hit him. And remember, these cars are going over 150 miles an hour right there in that turn. And so remember when you, you Kyle Reddick said, I didn't hit him. You heard him say that, right? You can't believe that. And Christopher Bell easily is going to clear the one of Elliott Sadler. And around they go. The 19 of Brandon Jones caught the five of Michael Annette. Now coming in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. Hold the break, hold the break. More coming. You see right there, the 19 on the bottom of the racetrack. And once again, the back gets pulled around. And Allgaier was able to sneak through there. So here they all kind of get stacked up, get into turn one, everybody racing for the bottom. 19 loose really early. See the 60 getting into the back of the double zero. Damage, I don't think. So here we'll do right there, the 19. Just, that's it, Steve, you talked about it, that air on the right side of the car. It makes the car drive better. It makes downforce, it makes side force. You get a car on the outside of you, it's no longer there. Nice job sneaking by on the top there, no Everybody damage. the time you don't, and it's hard to feel that slip of the tire. Caution out. And the 11 hard. Smoke rolling out. You see the damage to the right side. Now, he was involved in an accident earlier. So, Ryan Truex. Here to the garage. Left side of the screen, Justin Algar trying to chase Hemrick down. He better get him quickly. What I've seen so far is Hemrick's got good long run speed. I think Algar oh, needs to get The 20 contact. goes around with contact to the 22. And into the wall goes Christopher Bell, one of the championship contenders in the wall early. And a lot of damage to the 20. The 22 up the track. Cindric just couldn't hold the bottom of the racetrack. Most of that we've seen in one and two. This time it's in three and four. Interesting now how many laps are left in this race. Yeah, the 20. This is a, I mean, look at the left front tire on the 20. I would say they had some pretty catastrophic suspension damage. I'm not sure they're even going to be able to continue. There it is, the contact. 22 up the racetrack. Sends the 20 around. And you mentioned it, Rick. 66 to go. We look at 65, maybe 64 when pit road is open. Fuel window at 60. You know me, I'm a gambler. Do I'm on pit road for sure. Do you gamble? 920, there's the quarter. Inside quarter, give him room. Cast it up, cast it up, cast it up. He races him hard. Oh, and there's a wreck behind him. Behind him into the fence. The 18 and the 19. Two gift cars. Who's going to be the leader here? Now they'll go to the last loop crossed when the caution came out to determine who was up front. Once again, Brandon Jones. Yeah, free again. We saw it earlier in the race. You never like to go up to the racetrack and collect anybody. Even worse when it's your teammate. Yeah. Is out there on all the tires. Tried to save that set because he had spun earlier. I think he's going to have to come to pit right now, put on his last set of tires. And this is going to be interesting decisions because this caution should get Cole Custer and Elliott Sadler inside their fuel window. No one in front of them is inside their window. So while Justin Allgaier is up there with the lead and feeling really good about it, he knows he has to come to pit road one more time while there are other playoff drivers, namely Sadler and Custer in 11th and 12th. Rick, they're sitting back there thinking, I hope all you guys pit. 
We're going to be looking great. See Joey Gase there, and this is the reason for the caution. Joey Gase, another one. The car's on the inside. We see him slide up the racetrack, hit the wall. That was going down the backstretch, coming out of turn two points. John Hunter Nemechek, and oh. the caution could come out here. The 16 of Ryan Reed around, and it does come out. Mark it down, mark it down. Now, instead of coming to pit road, oh. you shut it off. Oh. And try to save fuel because you're going to have less than 10 laps to go to the finish. Rick, this is why I did TV. Two teammates. Once again, a car on the outside of another car taking the air off the 60 car. Jeski driving the 60. It's up the racetrack in Ryan Reed, and nothing new. That's the same wreck we've seen all day long. And who will come to pit road? That now is the big question. Well, and the reason we continue to talk about fuel is because it seems like tires, once they cool, they, they, they kind of come back as good as brand new tires, maybe better on the restart. Three wide as they go into three. This is an advantage, John Hunter Nimichek, side by side. Oh, John Hunter up the racetrack. And the three of Shane Lee goes around, catches Daniel Hemrick, one of the championship contenders. Caution comes out again. Hemrick didn't hit anything. You can see right here, Shane Lee on the bottom of the racetrack, and once again, just can't hold the line. Seen it all day long. A lot of cup drivers watching this race getting increasingly nervous about tomorrow. <laughs> Just a three inside, four cars. Right on it, right on it. First minute, first minute, first minute. Take it, take it, take it so we keep it out of the wall. Cross it back out, cross it back out, you're good. You would guess flat spotted tires though for the 21? Yeah, certainly. These guys behind us, pretty good contact right here. As you see those guys wrecking, so all the leaders come through the picture, Rick. It seems like the nine of Tyler Reddick had the advantage on Cole Custer. And as they ride around here on the caution laps, that's what we have. Reddick, Custer, Sadler, John Hunter, Nemechek, the top four. So once again, Sadler will be pushing from the inside or yeah, inside of lane Left two. to go, presented by Credit One Bank. Cole Custer's run Reddick down. All over the back bumper. Can he get him loose? Down the back stretch they go. Here comes Cole Custer. They hit. Contact made. Tyler Reddick trying to stay on his bumper. Cole Custer. Trying to pull away. Cole Custer takes it in Texas. <laughs> how, about the, how about the action down the back straightaway? That's what I'm talking about. Awesome job today, Cole. Awesome job. Good job, guys. Great car. Cole Custer just punched his ticket to Miami. Oh, an hour through the middle of that turn. It's just crazy that. And the caution has come out. Yeah, because yeah, it's Jump board come in. That's the last one. Come on. Cup cars right, around. Jimmy Brown, we got into him a little bit here. I can't see the right. It will be Chad Knauss. And it was the 48 that was involved. Today's Jordan Cross, driver Cross, up late. And sure enough, the caution does three. come out. This time it's for David Starr in the 97. We are the and oh, yeah. there you have it. You, heard, a, you happy, heard it too, happy. Yeah, he's a happy driver down into turn one here. Looks like he has an issue. It's kind of a flat, I believe, in his left rear. The left rear looks a little soft maybe there. It's hard to tell. I mean, he's up a groove trying to let the leaders go. So he's not in the preferred lane. Yeah. I get the doubt to think he can get So now the pressure's following the pit crews. Now the pressure. Well, and Kevin Hart. That was a little contact between Bubba Wallace and the 37 car, Busher, and 32 and Trix may have made some contact there to upset that 32 car. Matt gets in the inside wall. It'll be interesting to see if Truex got any right front damage from that. Another thing that happened during this caution is that 
Ricky Stenhouse Jr. is going to get the free pass, first car lap down. Well, that's only two cars now, one lap down, and one of those being Kyle Busch. So maybe one more caution, and you see Kyle Busch get back in the lead lap. I'm interested to see what Hart does on this restart, what line he chooses. Yeah. He chooses the inside line again. The 12th car, the Blaney, has some experience. Save our, save our, save our, save our. That was close, yeah. The first press conference I was ever at, there were more eyes on me at that. As the caution will come out, now a restart will have to be, well, conquered again by Kevin Harvick. We'll see what we're he's good. got in. We're good. The tires. The 51 of Joey Gay spins. And now it's going to be a sprint. A lot of damage to the 19 of Daniel Suarez as well. And what? Right on the 19 car here. This is a whole bunch of things happening right here. Yeah, it does. <laughs> 19 got in there. Got in there a little deep. 47 got up into the 51. I wonder if there might have been something on the racetrack. All these guys having so much trouble in that corner altogether. That was really strange. Yeah. You do like to give them credit. There we go. Yeah, you can. Well, I think that. You got tight. You got the gray. You got the gray. Outside, outside, outside. Outside. Clear rope. Outside. 19 spinning. Putting together one of the greatest seasons of his life. Looking for his eighth win of 2018. And more importantly, a secured spot in the championship board for another chance at a championship. Harvick wins the Texas. Hey, okay, great job.